looking hot. I love doing Jamie's glam. Um, cause she's always ready to like bust out a look. Like I can come prepared with looks, but she always has something up her sleeves too. So it's fun to like come into a glam and not know exactly what we're gonna get into. Happy Fashion Week. My name is Mitchell Ramazan and I'm a celebrity stylist here in New York. And today I'm working with Jamie. So you guys are gonna get a little sneak peek of what it's like to be in glam with me. Come on in. Oh, beautiful. Right? Yeah, really cool. So today, we're gonna get a top knot with two braids going down the back. This is Megan, she's helping me out today. Hi. So thankfully, we're gonna be able to do this together. So like, we'll just come through like this side area and that'll be the area that's like parted through the side. And then they'll come and meet in the back. Yeah, it's super cool. They can come into the front, right? Yep. So we're just sectioning out two braids on either parts of the sides of her head. I've been a hairstylist for over 10 years and I've started my freelance career around three years ago. Definitely like my styling, that's been my main focus like the past two years. And so I've been doing like a lot of events and carpets. And so you're good at doing like, when you do hair up, uh -huh. I don't want to say an updo because to me that sounds like- Like wedding. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> formal dated hair. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think you're really good at doing like cool styling off the face. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I feel like anything you do with your hair, you want it to feel really good. Like, and the most important part is definitely like showing off the face and feeling confident in it. Especially in this face. Yes. Jamie's a client that I really respect for her fashion sense. So like I love being able to collaborate with her and hear about what she's excited about and what she wants to create and to be able to be challenged a little bit. I met Portia and Mitchell last time when I was here in New York for Balenciaga's show. That's when Dorothy recommended them because I wanted some really good glam. And every time I come to New York, I work with them. It honestly, hasn't been that many times, but it feels like it's been forever, though. It does. <laughs> you know what it is? I feel like we have a good vibe. Yeah, a good yeah. vibe and a good understanding where I like, so just flow. So it feels like so long. So true. And I love how Mitchell does the hair because my hair is on the thicker side. If you don't put in enough product, like it doesn't hold super well. So he puts in just enough, but not too much. All right, braids are in. So now we're gonna start snatching this up into our bun. Now we're just going in at Jamie's root and applying a little bit of gel. And since the water's already sprayed on, the gel's gonna disperse really evenly throughout. And we're gonna just brush that up. So I'm gonna show you guys this like really cool hair tie. It's basically like a bungee cord and it has two hooks on it. And it's great for these looks because you don't have to like loop all the hair through. You just go to the base and wrap around. So I split her ponytail up into two different sections so that it's super clean. So now we're focusing around her face and we're gonna pull these two front sections back into the ponytail that we just created back here. And you won't even be able to tell that we split it up, but it's gonna make our life so much easier. Now I'm just like checking the balance of everything. The tricky part about doing hair in a hotel room, it's most of the time it's in a hotel room, is like being able to see the balance of the front of your client and like really see what's going on. So like I typically like to like jump in and check it out and see how it's all coming along. It's looking really good. Jamie wants to do like a clean bun on top, so I'm just using a little bit of mousse on the ends so that there's just not too many flyaways. But we're gonna create this really cool detail in the bun. I'm gonna braid it. I've always told people, like when I do their hair, I feel like it's me wearing the hair. So like when Jamie's getting dressed, I feel like it's like secretly me going to Michael Kors. Like I'm like, what would I wanna wear? How would I wanna do my hair too? So I'm just taking the braid and kind of like breaking it up some so that it doesn't look too traditional. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna start to wrap this around. So we can do something that's like high up like that, mm -hmm. or we can go like a little bit lower flush to the head. I like high up like that. High up, okay, amazing. Yeah, I feel like the high up is a vibe. 
So these really long pins create the structure. Oh my God, guys, it's coming together. Some spray. This is the part about glam sometimes, like you try to stay on schedule and then you run over sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's why the shows always start late too, because this happens to every single guest. We gotta get out the door, we gotta finish on time. All right, guys, she's We're all done. done. We're done. <laughs> I'll do last touches on you once you get changed. So good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ready Showtime. for Michael Kors, last show, <laughs> Fashion Week. I know, I can't believe it. It's been so fast. Go time. Fashion Week has been a roller coaster. It's been a lot of fun. Early mornings, late nights, little eating, but lots of glam. So I take about six clients a day. I just go back to back. So I start off like really early in the morning and then I go through my schedule. I don't always have the addresses memorized. So like I go on my calendar, grab the address, call an Uber, hop in, next location and keep it going. All right, so I'm off to my client Serena. The hustle just never stops. And then I'm gonna see Charlie Jordan a little bit later um, and Paris Wren. And then I'll also see Olivia Ponton. Thanks so much for joining us, Refinery29. I wish I could take you to my next plan, but I gotta go right now. Um, I hopefully will see you guys soon. Hope you guys like the look. Season three is coming out October 5th. It should be an interesting one. I don't even know what's in it, but actually I sort of know what's in it and there is, yeah, well, you'll see, <laughs> so.